Welcome to Chris VV Journey, where I take you on a journey with me through the world of VV. Always as an adventurer, never as a financial advisor, so please invest with caution. With that out of the way, let's look at the current news in the world of VV. So today we had the X-Men drop and right now we just heard from VV that Carnage is unleashed on Thursday 8 a.m. It will be the amazing Spider-Man 361 drop. That is actually an issue I own in real life. This is my 9.0 direct market copy. So what does direct market copy mean? If you look here, there's a little Spider-Man emblem. Maybe I can even show it a little bit better. So there's two versions of this book. My version is the direct copy one. It's the one you can find in comic shops. And there's also uh, a newsstand version, which you can find on the street, streets, and that one will have way lower numbers, like around 20% of the direct market copy. So those are usually worth a little bit more, sometimes definitely more than the direct market copy. So my copy is roughly around $300 right now, while the direct market copy in 9.8 is about $900 maybe, $800, $900 currently, and the newsstand copy is well above $1,000. This book, actually, there are a few 9.9 .9 copies on the streets uh, that you can find, but those are so special. They're not a really good metric to measure the importance of this book. So, um, about the book. It's a 90s comic book, so that means they had inflated uh, the way they were printing comics. That's why those books are not that expensive nowadays. But Carnage is also a fan favorite, so I'm really sure there will be a lot of people that will try to get this book. I mean, I will try to get this book. I got the original copy and still I want the NFT copy of it. I'm, I'm, Really, I'm really, really, really hoping I will be able to snatch one and um, within the drop, of course, I would love to get anything but the common, not because of the financial worth, but simply for the fact that I actually own the book with the same cover. Looking at the image though, if this will be the cover we can see in the middle, so that's actually the cover from the second printing of this book because it's a little bit more gray. Mm, so. It wouldn't be too bad to have the common, but honestly, I would love any of the other covers more. So, how was your X-Men pull? Because my pull was a common. I'm pretty excited actually about the common pull. I love the cover. I would have loved to have the, the secret rare just because of the cover. I, I thought that was very special, very classic. But of course, you can't expect to get the secret rare. <laughs> that is... Uh, yeah, it's like a lottery ticket. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my common book and uh, I hope you were able to get any book at all. I saw some uh, great pulls on Facebook. There was actually a guy that was able to get two super rares that is like insanely lucky. So if you see this, more power to you. Uh, congratulations, I congratulated you on your post already, but it's a great book and have fun with it. And yeah, so let, let's get to the next one. So uh, we had a few news about the uh, migration to Immutable X. There was a post, um, oh, that was the wrong button, my bad. So here it is. Um, so the migration rollout plan from VV. They already started putting work into it, so it's already happening. It has three phases. In phase one, the user wallet will be registered into the uh, Ethereum layer two technology. So this phase, it doesn't concern us users actually, because it's just happening without any of us doing anything. So this is the first thing they do. They uh, turn the wallets into an actual wallet because right now, if I understand it correctly, our wallets more or less are just uh, in-app accounts in the VV app. So now they turn it into an actual wallet in the Ethereum blockchain. 
So the second phase will be minting the NFTs also in the layer two Ethereum technology, which is interesting. I was a little bit afraid when I read about that because I thought if there's a point where something could happen to your account and you, where you could possibly lose some of your NFTs, I guess this is, this is it. This is where it could happen. But I'm, yeah, I have a lot of trust into the company of Vivi in Ecomi that they do really good work with it. And I'm, I'm not really afraid. It was just a thought that I, that it came by and went away right away. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I think it's exciting to see it. Um, it is interesting that they didn't share if they were going to mint every NFT into the Ethereum layer two technology. If they do mint everything, then it seems like we were able to get all our NFTs into the regular blockchain. So that will be interesting because, yeah, because of the, the nature of the licensing, it seems like it's not, yeah, not, not um, so easy to get every NFT out. There was a lot of discussions about it online, but maybe we are all wrong and the licensing is so great that you can get everything into your uh, personal wallet next. That would be awesome too. Also, phase two doesn't need us to do anything. It won't happen anything. Only thing uh, Ikumi asks us is to make sure that every transaction stays within the app or in the VV ecosystem, which makes sense. So uh, I personally don't do anything outside the app yet. I know there's a lot of money to be made if you do transactions outside of the app or use different ways of payment. Um, I liked it. It's a great idea. I was just, uh, yeah, I was still too shy to try it because I'm relatively new in the space. So I, I thought I would rather be safe than sorry. So the third phase actually will take, uh, will need us to take action. That's when we find out, or that's when we are asked to convert our tokens. As far as I understand, because this is really, I'm, on, I'm honest to you guys, like this is really complicated for me to, to grasp. And before that happens, I will make sure that I totally understand everything. And then I will pull up a video for you guys and try to help you with it. But right now at this point, I'm, I'm just not, uh, just not schooled enough for this. So. As far as I understand it, you will have two different OMI tokens. The one you can use exclusively on the app and the one you can use like every other token in the blockchain, like Ethereum, Bitcoin, what have you. And what we will have to do is we will have to make sure that we convert our tokens either in the VV app or on an exchange. These two places will be uh, the place to do this automatically. So it sounds like this is the easy way. And then there seems like there's a way that's not that easy way to do it manually on the tokens website. I have no idea what the tokens website is yet, but uh, I will find out and I will share what I found out with you guys. So, uh, but I, this is happening down the, down the line. We still have time for that. And I think they will share more info about that in the future. So just that you know, that there's a point where you actually have to do something. So don't just lay your phone away, never look into VV for the next six months. So maybe you're missing out. Of, But they also said in this article, um, if I understand correctly, the, the third, the tokens website might be a, um, a way to do it even later on. So who knows? I, I, I'm still interested to see what, what else they would say about it. Um, so this is about the immutable X migration. Let's get next. Uh, what else I wanted to talk about? Uh, yeah. So about the, the current comic prices, what I see after the drop, um, is I see always that the comic prices are really shaken up. So shortly after the drop, a lot of people seem to overpay on books and I mean, overpay is relative like i don't think you can act right now it, this is just my opinion like i said not a financial advisor but in my opinion i think it's hard to overpay at these times like i have the feeling 
you can buy almost everything as long as you buy at floor price you will down the line make a profit but as i said this is just my my um my opinion so don't take it as financial advice do your own research but yeah this is how i feel about it right now so i don't understand why there seems to be a lot of people buying books shortly after release i get it with special numbers like for example if you have the number 616 on the x-men book 616 is the the number of the main marvel universe so this always makes sense to get the number 616 in the book on from marvel if you have a marvel book with the 616 you're safe that's that is a safe bet keep that one and i think it makes sense shortly after the drop to look through all the all the offerings there are to look for special numbers and maybe you can get a special number at a really good price like i did this before it was <laughs> amazing i i bought something and i sold it within 10 hours for triple the price could barely believe it how easy that was but yeah there, there's a way to make a, a good deal but i wouldn't fomo out just in the start there's still ways there will there will be dips in the comic prices so i guess if you can relax a little it helps out for a lot of uh, cases um something else i wanted to talk about were the uh, prices for the collectibles um and if you look at the collectibles we can see that the uh, um batman actually the top batman is at a pretty good price back again so let's see are we still at almost 1800 yes he's back at almost 1800 he was uh, purchasable for 1400 just yesterday so there was a big dip in his price maybe a few of you were able to grab him i think he's one of the most undervalued pieces right now in my opinion together with the joker and the bruce tim harley quinn i mean this is the first nft on vv at all it's the fa of batman when you have x amount of batmans and he's the one who appeared first he's designed from todd mcfarlane one of the best comic uh, well let's say comic producers maybe not one of the best comic artists that is debatable but one of the strongest voices in the in the comic space and even the design it has is from a very very special cover todd mcfarlane did for batman so um i don't know i just see him i i see his value grow up and explode like crazy in the future um also with joker and harley joker is actually the joker done by will, uh, will smith no joker is done by jim lee uh, jim lee is currently the co-publisher from dc comics itself he is an amazing artist i have a lot of art from Jim Lee, it's, it's one of my favorite artists at all. Um, and the design is even based on one of his most famous books. It's the Hush storyline, which essentially brought Batman back into the limelight after his, his uh, sales were pretty st stagnant. So like there's a lot of history in this in this in this special joker and he's also first appeared that he's also season one as well as the harley character the harley bruce tim harley is the season one is the first appearance even more so she's exactly designed by bruce tim you can see it on the whole if it, this is one of the most recognizable characters in the whole portfolio but you can see it's it's definitely the bruce tim design and bruce tim is the guy who actually created the character for the batman animated show he was co-creating the batman animated show he was co-creating batman beyond the justice league morning cartoons like all of this stuff like the the harley quinn in my opinion is super undervalued like the real comic collectors they will value the character like crazy bruce tim is awesome and he's great and very loved by the comic fans so um so much about prizes and my opinion on prizes uh last thing i want to talk about is actually the negativity i see surrounding this subject when another when another drop happens so i've been very much active in in various groups and when i see people make posts about you know 
there's a scam, there's there's too many bots, it's impossible to get the drops. And I have to say, I, I don't think you're doing yourself any favor with that. There's a lot of negativity involved, and, and I get it. I get being disappointed. I, I had a drop where I didn't get anything, and yeah, I wasn't really happy about that. And um, I get it. it, it has to be frustrating. And I also get that you might be in a place in the world where you have, yeah, not the best internet connection. I'm in Germany, so I don't like to complain, but yeah, we're kind of known for not having an internet connection on par with other countries. So we do have some problems with the internet connections, for sure. But um, yeah, I, I wouldn't run around and talk about scams and talk about bots because from my experience if I look at the scene I don't think that's really a problem right now. I'm not saying it's not happening. Pretty surely some people will have found a way to be very smart and maybe use technology to help themselves out and um, yeah but it's I, I don't see where it's a scam. I don't think Ikomi is actually uh, having people that they give these NFTs to instead of other people i don't know that that doesn't sound that doesn't make much sense to me if i look at the market and what's happening in the market there's a lot of people that are happy when they get the secret rare so it's not like um i mean those are random people in my opinion um and i don't see that and i just think all this negative negativity i mean you draw if, if you put those so much negative energy out you you, you will become a beacon for it as well so Try to be positive. A positive attitude is great for your well-being. It helps yourself out pretty much. It's way better for the community and yeah, just wait and see. So maybe next time, I mean, the, the, the worst thing someone can do is being so negative that he doesn't even try anymore. And if you don't try anymore, you can't win. You lose. Losing is a sure thing if you don't even try anymore. So like, I'm not a financial advisor, but I would always try. I mean, right now we're in a space where it's actually where you're in a good space that you can spend these seven dollars and either you get nothing or if you get something, you already made a profit. So doesn't get any much better than that. <laughs> so much for this. So I, I've battled on long enough. Uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. And um, thanks for your attention love to hear from you guys like if you have any any tips for me like i said this is my journey i'm happy to learn from you guys as well especially like about the ecomi integration to the ethereum layer 2 technology i'd love to hear your thoughts about it and um, yes thank you for watching